Hiya! How you doing? So today, as you can tell from my thumbnail, we are watching The Thing, which I didn't know was a movie until I saw it suggested in my comments several times. Uh, namely, Scott asks, May I suggest you watch The Thing? It's a 1982 John Carpenter film that will leave a lasting impression on you. That's quite cryptic and intriguing and it just made me want to watch it so um <laughs> anyway I, I laughed a little bit though when i when i looked it up i'm like is this a real is this a real movie the thing that's like calling your movie like the person or the place who does that did they run out of names i don't know i'm i'm intrigued i want to know what the thing is apparently it's a uh, horror science fiction um, 1982. That's all I know about it. And yeah, let's, let's watch the movie. Rated R. Okay, that's not a good sign. Scary movies that are rated R are scarier than movies that are scary and rated PG-13. Kurt Russell. Kind of know who that is. I think my mom thought he was cute back in the day. <laughs> now, I don't know how scary this is gonna be, so I brought a blanket and my fuzzy socks. Because I have something about, like, when you're watching a scary movie and, like, your feet are hanging off or something. I'm sure that's a common thing. You can't have, like, naked feet, you know, when you're watching something scary. Just, mm, -mm. Nope. Makes it so much worse. John Carpenter. I, you know, I've heard that name. I can't place it. Spaceship. Is this a space movie? I like space movies. I remember, like, in the 90s, everything was about space. That's fancy. Good stuff, guys. Antarctica, winter 1982. Hmm. So maybe it's not a space movie? I don't know. I'm intrigued. It's so pretty. I wonder where this was filmed. If it's actually Antarctica, probably not. I would live in Antarctica if I could. If there was a Walmart there, I would sign up for that. I love the snow. Oh, hi! <laughs> What the f- What are you doing? Hey, no, 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 no! What is wrong with you? What's wrong with this dude? <laughs> He's trying to kill him. What is your problem? <gasps> yeah, they're trying to shoot the dog. Institute Station 4. Okay. That was not cool. I don't like that dude. I wonder what that dog was doing out there in the middle of nowhere, though. I think that's Kurt Russell. He always has, a, like, a little, a little boy face. He got a baby face. I understand. She's a bitch. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Especially not with like old computers. They were fragile. I have no idea what's going on here. Child, what's he doing? Circling the camp. Who is he? Dog shooter. I hate him. Well, if you're down in Antarctica, you probably don't really get any uh, visitors. What is going on? It. It. Hello? Are you good? Come down back in, you hey. It's a crazy guy! <laughs> oh. Good job. George, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Are you? You, you don't... You probably don't need to worry about it too much. I don't think fires can last out there for very long, at least. Oh. oh, there's a lot of guys out there. First goddamn week of winter. Isn't it like always winter over there? What were they doing flying that low? Shooting at a dog. At us. Cabin fever, who knows? Yeah. US number 31 calling McMurdo. Urgent. Nobody! Get a hold of somebody. Get a hold of anybody. We gotta report this. I haven't been able to reach shit in two weeks. I doubt if anybody's talked to anybody on this entire continent. <laughs> Who's this guy? Maybe we had war with Norway. How long have they been stationed there? Only eight weeks. Well, that's not long enough for guys to go bunker. Five minutes is enough to put a man over down here. <laughs> How many in their party? We started with ten. There'd be eight others left. I want to go up. In this weather? An hour there, an hour back. That's a lot of characters. I'm not going to remember everyone. McCready! Hank, get your gear on! <laughs> you really want to save those crazy Swedes, huh? Norwegians. This dog is, like, the main character. The music. You get a sense that, like, something bad's gonna happen. It doesn't seem like a horror movie to me yet. It seems like a action movie or, like, a space movie. Really don't know what to expect here. Yeah, they got a nice setup there. Hi. What you doing? Oh, what you find? Ugh, it's making me nervous. I hate it. 
Oh, nothing happens to him. Someone already tried to shoot him. Oh no. I don't know if there's anyone over here anymore, guys. Oh, that does not look good. Anybody there? Hey, Sweden! Ah, Swedish, man. always. <laughs> Oof. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad you guys are armed. We got a lunatic. Hopefully only one, and hopefully... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, guys. You know what? Maybe you should get out of there. <gasps> Back. Oh no. Mm -mm. I see that. I'm out. I'm out. What the? Oh, what a. Oh, no. Ah, fool. Oh, hell no. What the hell happened here? Come on, Doc. Yes. I'll be running out of there, these guys. What happened? Who cares? Let's go. Kids. Go. Oh, that's a mess. Something terrible happened there. It's all in Norwegian. Hmm. What are you doing, Doc? Could be important work. I want to take it back with us. I'll check out the last few rooms. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, Popper, come here! What is that? What is it? Looks like a ice hot tub. What? What is it? Maybe they found a fossil. The remains of some animal buried in the ice and they chopped it up. Hmm. Dang! What is that? That's a good question. Is that a man in there? Something. Or something. Whatever it is, they burn it up in a hurry. Help me find a shovel, Doc. Sir, you've done enough digging for today. I would like you to get back in your ride. And go back to your little shack. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Eh, he keeps showing the dog. I think he knows something's up or something. He's got like a sixth sense or something. He's seen some stuff. Uh found this. What the f <laughs> Ew! That is nasty. Claire, I don't I'd like you to start an autopsy. Oh my gosh. It's slimy and moist and disgusting. <sighs> what is happening? <laughs> you reach anybody yet? We're a thousand miles from nowhere, man. Well, what we got here is what appears to be, anyway, a normal set of internal organs. Sir, there's nothing normal about that. Lungs, kidneys, liver. Intestines. Oh, there's no way that's human. No. Nope. Seem to be normal. No, no, that is the last. That's not normal. If that's normal to you, you need to change your life. Seek help, sir. If I look like that when I die, I, I, I'm gonna come back, resurrect myself, and die again. Do it right, so I don't look like that no more. I know how this one is. <laughs> Rude. He was watching that too. What face? It'd be weird to not have internet though. You had to just have, watch the same stuff over and over. I got so used to the internet. That looks fun, though. Clark, will you put this mutt with the others where it belongs? Why is everyone so mean? Yeah, okay. It's cute. Did he bite him or what? Getting suspicious of this dog. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Why doesn't he want to be around these dogs? Maybe I'm suspicious of these dogs. Something wrong with your dogs. <laughs> They're so cute though. <gasps> oh no. What the f What the hell is that? <laughs> yes! Oh hell no! What the <laughs> Oh let them out! Oh my gosh! What is that? <laughs> Let them out! Let them out! We got a... I... We have a... I don't even know what to call that. An exploding dog. <laughs> Hello, guys! How the hell... How can they not... You can hear that. <gasps> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, they got out. That was disgusting. I don't know what I was looking at, but I was looking at something... Nasty. It's turning into a spider or something. <laughs> Just everything gross. I don't know what the hell's in there. But it's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. Jennings, <laughs> go get child. Mac wants the flamethrower. The what? That's what he said. Now move! Flamethrower. Good idea. I like that. Smart. Oh, those poor dogs. They're still crying. Mac, what is it? Nobody knows. There's no word for that. Just a blob of grossness. <laughs> oh, man. 
What? What is it? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Please don't. What am I looking at? What are we... What's... <laughs> Damn it, child, torch it! <laughs> it just keeps getting worse! It just keeps getting worse! Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. I want just more of that. Just torch the whole place. But, uh, it seemed like part of it went upstairs, though, it, the, through the ceiling. I, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I think some of it went through the ceiling, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't have words either. Oh my, that was disgusting. <laughs> He's just like, I hate my life. Oh my god. <laughs> the squelching noise. Oh. <laughs> like, how many layers did you go through to get to that? He's just over it. What we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms. When this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to digest them, absorb them, and in the process, huh? shape its own cells to imitate them. That's not dog. It was a dog. It's like a shapeshifter. I'd be suspicious of all them dogs now. Did you notice anything strange about the dog? Anything at all? No. What was the dog doing in the rec room? <laughs> I don't know. How long were you alone with that dog? Hour and a half, maybe. I think he's suspicious of him. Oh, we got a shapeshifter. Could be anything. That's why they were shooting it. Where'd they take these shots? They were spending a lot of their time in a little place northeast of their campground. What's that? It looks like something buried under the ice. This is it. The place where they were spending most of their time. Pretty nasty out, Mac. 35 knots. Screw it. I'm gonna go up anyway. <laughs> he's very brave. He'd have to pay me so much to do this. The heck is that? I have this feeling of dread. I don't want to see that again, you know? <laughs> uh. <sighs> this is some sort of like alien stuff, I swear. How long you figure this has been in the ice? I'd say the ice that's buried in is 100,000 years old, at least. I think they disturbed something that had been buried in there. There's a reason nobody goes up there. Okay, okay. Thousands of years ago it crashes and this thing crawls out and it ends up freezing in the ice. You believe any of this voodoo bullshit, Blair? Chariots of the gods, man. I mean, you guys saw it. What, what are we gonna call that? Norwegians get hold of this and they dig it up out of the ice. They cart it back. It gets thawed <laughs> out, wakes up, probably not in the best of mood. No, why you disrespect when man been tossing his dirty drawers in the kitchen trash can? <laughs> Huh? What? I want my kitchen clean, all right? Ew! <laughs> how can it look like a dog? I don't know. So we're just gonna ignore the because it's different. Dirty underwear. Okay. You buy any of this, Blair? He's not gonna answer. So I take it that's the scientist smart guy. I, gu I guess. Yeah, I remember computers used to kind of look like this. Yeah, I remember. This would have been impressive back in the day. It was. Probability that one or more team members may be infected by intruder organisms, 75%. Oh, there's more exploding dogs on the way. Our world population infected, 27,000 hours from first contact. What kind of computer program is this? Good idea, buddy. You're gonna need that. It went through the ceiling, I saw it. Is that the dirty underwear? Sir? Are those yours? Is that the... The thing. That's why they call it the thing. Cause I don't <laughs> Cause that's the only that's the only describer. Doc says we gotta lock him up. Stash him in here and lock him up. I'm tired of talking fix. I just wanna get up to my shack and get drunk. Mm-hmm. Don't we gotta just burn these things. I second that. That's gonna win somebody the Nobel Prize. Oh yeah. It's moving. Hey! Okay, he sees it. No, he doesn't. Okay. It's it, it, it's fine. This is fine. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, by the way, I've seen Star Wars. There's something wrong with Blair. He's locked himself in his room and he won't answer the door. It needs to be alone and in close proximity with the life form to be absorbed. They're not dead yet. Oh, you can't burn it? I'd burn it anyway. Shh. 
I'm just not gonna, Benix. not gonna talk about it. <sighs> Benix was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. He's getting away. Go, 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 go. Actually, no. Go back inside. Lock the doors. It isn't Benix. It, no, it's not. That's not. Oh hell no. Good. Yes. If it had more time to finish, it would have looked and sounded and acted just like Bennings. But Critty, I know Bennings. I've known him for ten years. That wasn't him. He's my friend. Hell no, not that guy. Nice. Burn him, burn them all. Where's Blair? It can't be that easy, huh? I can't find Blair. <laughs> oh, okay. It's still him. He's not taking over. That's good, right? Well, sir. Christ. <laughs> he got most of the chopper and the tractor. And he's killed the rest of the dogs. He killed the dogs! <laughs> Come on, man. You don't want to hurt anybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like those punching sounds. He was destroying everything, and I think he said he killed the dogs. He's gotta be tranquilized. Come on, Blair. What about your shack, McCready? I want him in my shack. We'll lock him in the tool shed. <laughs> Why am I in here? Are you run protection, Blair? Does he not remember? He tried to chop up his friends with an axe. Watch Clark. I'm bad with names. Which one is Clark? Now I don't know who to watch. Radio's gone. So are the choppers. Yeah, we're completely cut off. All we can do now is hold up till spring, wait for the rescue team. No, we don't wait. Somebody in this camp ain't what he appears to be. By spring, it could be all of us. Oh. Well, how do we know who's human? Is there some kind of test, Doc? I've been thinking about a blood serum test. We need Blair's help. He's the only one who knows what this organism is. It's too far gone, Fuse. Somebody got to the blood! What? Who's got access to it? I guess I'm the only one. Ooh. I got the only key. Okay, it's one of these two. Somebody could have lifted it off me. Oh, that's come on. Doc thought of the test. So what? Is that supposed to clear him? Yeah, he could just be saying that. You can't trust anybody. I'm with this guy. I'm running. I like this approach. You're gonna let him give the orders? I mean, he could be one of those things. Windows. You could too. This is like the creepiest whodunit of all time. Could literally be anyone. I give you my word, I did not go near that blood. Yeah, your word doesn't mean anything. I guess you'll all feel a little easier if somebody else was in charge. This thing doesn't want to show itself. It wants to hide inside an imitation, but it's vulnerable out in the open. There's a storm hitting us in six hours. We're gonna find out who's who. I'm just glad they're in all the way to Antarctica and not like in a crowded city or something, because it would be out, it would be infecting everyone by now. Doris, you and Childs, tie him down in the rec room and watch him. Mac, I'm not a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of record. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, <laughs> but the name tag was missing. Shredded long johns. <laughs> We're all very tired. Yeah, I bet they can't sleep. He wouldn't want to sleep. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. Aww. If a small particle of this thing is enough to take over an entire organism, then everyone should prepare their own meals. You're suspicious. He's suspicious. I don't trust any of you. Oh. oh, he's going off by himself. What did I say about that? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Anybody see Fuchs? All right. We got to find him. I ain't going with Windus. I'll go with Child. Hey, fuck you, Palmer. I'm going with you. <laughs> Who says I want you going with me? Oh, <laughs> the bullshit. Norris, you stay here. Any of them move, you fry them. You hear anything? Wow. Cut loose on the siren. We all meet back here in 20 minutes regardless. And everybody watch whoever you're with. Yeah. I like his hat. That's not what you'd think to wear in Antarctica, but it's cool. Hey, Blair. Have you seen Fuchs? I want to come back inside. Is that a noose in there? Did you come across Fuchs? It ain't Fuchs. I'm not gonna harm anybody, and there's nothing wrong with me. Mm-mm. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see means no. You gotta let me come back in front. <laughs> He's like, no. Is it Fuchs? Oh. Yeah. Why would it burn him? Oh. He burned himself before it could get to him. Would you rather be uh, burned to death? Great! Or be invaded? Now what are we gonna do? 
Those are both terrible ways to go. Where are we going? Up to my shack. What the hell for? <laughs> when I left yesterday, I turned the lights off. Oh gosh. Someone's up there. We better start closing off the outside doors. Hmm, suspicious. Hey! All of you, come here! Oh no. What is wrong with him? What's wrong with you? Oh. Where's McGrady? I cut him loose of the line up by his shack. I found this. Wynn must have dislodged it, but I don't think he saw me find it. McGrady? He's one of them. And Windus, where were you? In Palm Road, took it. Shut where were you? <sighs> There's enough out to get you. Don't kill each other. Yeah, that's what it wants. Just let him freeze to death outside. Child, <laughs> what if we wrong about him? Why then we're wrong? Wow, not cool. Oh. Anyone messes with me and the whole camp goes. Oh no. Are you still you? Back off. Way off. <laughs> oh, he's half frozen. Oh. Asshole. You'd have done the same thing. Don't argue with him. Where's the rest? Then what's wrong with this dude? God, free this! Get him in here. And bring the others. No, nobody gets out of my sight. Well, a real light sleeper, child. Why are you being weird? Well, he's either a monster or he's just like so paranoid and stressed and hasn't slept probably in a long time. Clear. Clear. What the f <laughs> Oh! Oh! What? 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 <laughs> it just keeps getting worse! Oh! Oh man! No, 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 no! Hey! <laughs> My vocabulary is not equipped for this. He's still going. He's just ahead. Oh! Is this spider snail? Oh! 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 You got mine, McCready. Cut everybody down real tight. What for? For your health. You ain't tying me up. Then I'll have to kill you, child. Then kill me. At this point? I mean it. Yeah, I think he does mean it. Oh, someone's got a little knife. Ah! Holy crap! They're dead, Mac. Oh, that's messed up. We're gonna draw a little bit of everybody's blood. We're gonna find out who's infected. Well, this is like the last guy didn't even know he was infected. Every little piece was an individual animal. Too much has happened. Tell me that's it. This, 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 I can't, I can't take no more. It keeps going. There's something so vile on the screen. You're looking at it. It just keeps getting worse. And multiplying. And stuff is coming out where there shouldn't. Why are you looking like that, sir? Hello? I don't trust any of you. Well, I'll show you what I already know. Let's try the Doc and Clark. They're not even sad about their friend. They're just so tired and so much has happened. They're like traumatized. They don't have time for any other emotions. And Clark was human. It's your murder, don't it? Oh no. Oh, that's sad. This is pure nonsense. I thought you'd feel that way, Gary. You were the only one that could have got to that blood. Oh, oh no. Mm -mm. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> You got him, you got him. Oh, they're all tied up. Oh. oh, I feel so bad for them. They can't do anything. Ah, oh, you're nasty. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, you see that his legs are moving in a weird, gross. Ugh. <laughs> He's over it. These poor guys. Let's do it. They're regretting every decision they ever made up to this point. Cut me loose, damn it! Yeah, maybe he's claustrophobic. Oh. oh gosh. Oh my gosh. So it like lives in the blood, I'm guessing. Well, I don't Child, we're going out to get Blair the test. If he tries to make it back here and we're not with him, burn it. Got it, Chief. Mac, the door's open! How the hell did you get out? How do you get out? 
door was bolted from the outside. Someone must have let him out. I wouldn't want to get out of there. He was safe in there. I would have just stayed in there and been like, okay, this is fine. Until they go and get help. Uh, I don't go down there. Of course. Of course. Hey, Blair! You got something for you! <laughs> Blair's been busy out here all by himself. I wonder what the timeline is. Like, how long has it been? Stole the parts from the helicopter. Smart, SOB. Put it together piece by piece. Wow. Where was he trying to go? Literally any place but there. Because our child's outside the main entrance of the camp. We got back inside and blew the generator. In six hours, it'll be 100 below in here. Oh. It's not suicide. He's got no way out of here. He just wants to go to sleep in the cold until the rescue team comes. Oh, because they'll know nothing about it. And they can just jump into them. No problem. Now we can't let the thing freeze again. Maybe we'll just warm things up a little around. We're not getting out of here alive, but neither is that thing. Oh gosh, I hope no one messes this up. Oh, jeez! Lots of explosions in this movie. I like it. That looks fun though. You might as well have fun with it. It's like your last hour alive. Or up to eight hours, I guess he said. I don't think we're getting a happy ending this time. There's no way I don't see a way out of this. Unless someone comes for them, but... Generator room. <laughs> ah! I hate the suspense! The generator's gone! It's gone, McCready. We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. Oh, I feel like something bad is gonna happen! Dark and spooky and quiet down there. Great. Oh. Oh, whoa. Well, okay. Mm mm. Nope. 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 What's. Mm mm. What? Uh. Oh. Uh. What? I don't see that again. I see that again. <laughs> Maybe. Coming in there. Oh, we scared. Whatever that is, it's huge. <gasps> is it a dinosaur? <laughs> cool. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as when it's smaller. It wasn't too bad. It just looked like a slimy, gross, alien dinosaur. That's fine with me. I'm okay with that. And I hope it's a dead, slimy, disgusting, alien dinosaur. I can't take much more. Please be dead. Oh, this is sad, though. He's gonna freeze to death, and he's apparently by himself? Where is it? Did it get to everyone? Oh, oh no. There's someone. The only one who made it? Not the only one. Did you kill it? Where were you? Got lost in the storm. Why don't we just wait here for a little while and see what happens? See what happens, huh? You're gonna freeze to death. Yeah, that's what I would be doing. <laughs> Got fires all over the place. And that was the end! Oh my gosh. That was not a happy ending! Scott! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? You knew, you knew it would be disgusting, and you made me watch it, and I'm scarred for life. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna edit this and probably have to rewatch it a little bit to put together some pieces, and I will be back. All right, so this one is the hardest one I've done so far. Not because I'm a slow poke at editing, not technical difficulties, but because. <sighs> If I have to look at this scene one more time, if I have to watch this, I'm going to I'm going to lose it. That being said, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was well done. I can't imagine what it would be like to be sitting in the theater for that. Like, not knowing what to expect. The title gives you nothing. I know why they chose that name now, by the way. Um, I think it fits the horror genre better than any other movie ever. What really stood out to me was the scope of it all. It's like this disturbing little buffet, the golden corral of disgusting imagery and phobias. And it doesn't matter what phobia you might have it it, it 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 hit basically all of them I wrote them all down right uh, fear of spiders check dogs check snails check snakes small spaces little gross holes and spots blood and just the list goes on and on I it, it, I, I couldn't even think of them all but basically if you're scared of something this movie has it it's like 
You know, like the movie, I've seen this movie called Arachnophobia. It's about spiders. I don't remember much. I watched it when I was little. But basically, the, the only fear it touches on is, is is spiders. If you're scared of spiders, that's going to scare you. I think there's also another movie called Claustrophobia. Never seen that, but I can imagine what it's about. I feel like that probably only focuses on that one fear. But this one, freaking everything. Everything vile. Everything that grosses someone out. Every, anyway, anyway, anyway. What I didn't love was there wasn't much character development at all. I told you, like, that's really important to me. That's why I watch shows. But I feel like there wasn't enough time in this movie. It is actually a pretty short movie. It was like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, most, m most movies, like the list that I go from, um, they're usually like two hours long. They're long. Some of them are three hours. Some of them are over three hours. So this is a really short movie. You can't really put that in so I kind of forgive it but there's like no there's no love stories okay like at all there's not a single girl in it but in this context it made sense um and they had their own personalities like re-watching it I kind of was able to pick out all the different characters I was able to see that like the hero of the story in my opinion is is Blair I feel like he knew a lot more than than, than he was shown to, to know. Like, he looks like a crazy person, right? But he's actually, like, destroying, like, the, um, the, like, equipment. He destroyed the helicopter. He destroyed the, uh, vehicles and the, the communication stuff because he wants to, he does, he, he won't, he doesn't want to take this chance that, uh, this thing could get out, the thing could get out and, and, out of Antarctica, basically, like into the uh, uh, any group that finds it. I stutter so much. Don't make fun of my stutter. Uh, I'm probably gonna edit this out. And then at the end, I feel like the last two guys really. Uh, I, kind of, I still kind of don't know like what the end was about. Those last few sentences that they say. So I don't know if you know. To let me know in the comments. The remaining last two guys, they knew that they weren't gonna last. They knew that this thing was coming for them. They knew that the generator was dead because of Blair. Again, he destroyed that. Um, I feel like they knew their time was up, yet they still, they didn't give up. They just kept going. So anyway, I thought that was really cool. And that's like, that kind of makes up for the lack of time for like characters to you know form their own personalities their own backstory like for instance we don't know anything about even like our our most primary character i guess we don't know anything about him really besides his personality so anyway yeah i don't know if i've ever said the words hell no as many times as i said during the duration of this movie i actually laughed a lot more than i thought i would so like what what's funny to me like everyone has something that's like particularly funny to them um mine is watching a bunch of people get grossed out and this one was so interesting to me because i went back to edit i have actually never seen myself be disgusted because it's like not something like you're looking in the mirror at yourself when you're it's never happened it always just happens out of nowhere you're grossed out at something anyway I've never seen myself be like oh gross I've never actually seen it a genuine grossed out face from myself and I just was laughing so much while I'm editing I'm just like <laughs> that's hilarious to me people people being grossed out is very very funny to me and I can't I'm, I'm kind of sad I like didn't see it in the theater um because a whole room of people just being like oh <laughs> like that I would have been I would have been laughing my butt off anyway this is a quick outro I just wanted to say thank you Scott for your hideous suggestion <laughs> just kidding anyway I had fun hope you had fun and I'll see you next time